Irritable Bowel Syndrome IBS, is a condition that affects our large intestine, also called the colon, which is the last part of our digestive system. When we eat food, nutrients and minerals in the food are absorbed before reaching the large intestine. Once the food reaches our large intestine, the muscles of the large intestine send it forward through peristalsis movement, while water content from the food is absorbed during this process. The food is passed through the large intestine and eventually reaches the rectum, which is the last portion of the large intestine. In the rectum, food is stored as waste material called stools, which are expelled from the body through the anus. Normal water content is needed to store food in the rectum and expel it from the body. If the muscle contraction in the large intestine is too fast, water content in the food is not absorbed properly, leading to the formation of thin stool, and the patient suffers from diarrhea. On the other hand, if peristalsis is slow, maximum water content is absorbed from the food, resulting in the formation of hard stool, and the patient suffers from constipation. Patients suffering from irritable bowel syndrome may experience diarrhea, constipation, or a combination of both. Additionally, IBS patients may also suffer from stomach cramps, gas, and bloating. There are many causes of IBS. In many cases, there is a problem with the nerves that control the muscles of the large intestine, which disturbs the connection between the brain and the large intestine, affecting peristalsis movement. Besides this, stress, anxiety, abnormal food habits, or any intestinal infection can also cause IBS. Treatment for IBS depends on the cause, which is diagnosed first. For instance, if the patient is under stress, the treatment focuses on stress reduction. If food habits are not good, changes are made in the diet, and fiber-rich foods are suggested. In cases of diarrhea, drugs are given to slow down peristalsis, while in cases of constipation, drugs are given to speed up peristalsis.